Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video and first of all Happy 2020. Happy New Year everyone. I hope uh, you had uh, some great holidays and uh, Yeah, I was thinking about it and there's no better way to start uh, 2020 other than uh, watching towards the future and uh, That is why today we're going to review the brand new e-tron SUV of uh, Audi in fact we're here as you can see at the Audi dealership here and uh, Audi is going electric so let's check it out We just stepped in uh, the Audi dealership and uh, we're meeting here with Adrian Vargas. Hello. It is. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, we met Adrian uh, last uh, summer. He used to work at Little Place and uh, now you moved uh, to Salesman yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Back, uh, back with sales, but with my preferred brand with Audi versus being at Ford. Yeah. Um, so I'm very excited to show the all new 2019 Audi e-tron. Um, 19 and 20 hasn't changed, so we do have a couple left over, like this one. Um, three, 360 horsepower, 560 pound-feet of torque. Um, it's not like Tesla launch control quick. Um, it's more for at speed. You want to get, uh, want to pass someone. It's going to be a lot easier to do, to do it in this versus in your Tesla. So, um, really, really awesome car. You do get the option to do. Um, your charging port on both the driver and passenger side, like in this one, you can do it from here as well, as long as the car is unlocked. Yeah, just plug true. yourself in, then this will sh light up as being uh, green, yellow, or red, depending on the status. Press it again and actually closes up again. Quite nice specs for an SUV. Yeah. yeah. This is basically as, as loaded as you can get. There's a couple options that it's missing, but it's essentially uh, pretty well equipped at 112 uh, plus tax and, and everything. Um, LED lights front and rear, dynamic. Uh, or sequential turn signals in the back. You'll probably find that similar to be in the uh, Ford Mustang, but this is actually being carried throughout all of our Audi models now uh, with the LED taillights as well. Um, open the back, you can see it's actually got quite a decent amount of rear trunk space. I mean, you do have to kind of stretch all the way in. That's how deep it is. You do have to stretch you know, quite, uh, quite a ways to access fully uh, to get to the back seat. You do, of course, have your slider. You can pop that up, cover all your, you know, Paraphernalia you don't want to be seen. Um, power trunk, uh, camera with a little washer as well to clean off the camera once in a while. Oh, can you believe that? That's the details you get with Audi here. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little washer for the camera. Yeah, it, it just once in a while we'll just squirt a bit of washer fluid just to make sure it's nice and clean so you can still see when you're backing up. Um, it's a dual motor. Uh, car, so just like the Tesla Model X, um, that's got a dual motor system, same as this. Uh, that's how you really get that 560 horse, or 360 horse, 560 pound feet of torque, sorry. Um, all wheel drive, you can use it all year round, it's not a problem. Um, it's just a fantastic car to drive. And uh, does this one displace the batteries on the bottom like Tesla, or is yeah, it different? Yeah, so the whole, so the whole floor, the whole middle section of the car is actually the full battery. Yeah. Uh, and then in the front area, I'm not sure exactly how Tesla does it in their cars. Um, we have our coolers and just just general battery uh, technology still in the front. So there's extra stuff in here and down on the side. Uh, you do have a storage spot right in here for the cables that Audi provides for you when you purchase the car. Um, and when you have this, you can keep it at home. So you can still you know, carry like your laptop, just some smaller flat kind of things. Like, you can yeah, find or even if you have a briefcase, you can put it in there if you don't have this in there, of course. We'll give it a look inside. But Already I've seen uh, quite a few Teslas and uh, the quality here is a whole different deal, I would say. Yeah. Tesla, it's interesting, the market they're pushing for, but now that the other brands are coming out with this kind of technology, we can really see the real game here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we can take a closer look at the inside here. Beautiful. Yeah, so you can even start it out, so you just put your phone on the brake. Okay. Press the start button there. Yeah. And now it'll show up. Anything you want to see, it's right in here. And actually, one other thing I want to 
quickly show as well is the glass is a dual pane of glass as well. So you're getting great um, sound deadening as well because there's no engine to hide more uh, wind and road noise. There's two panes of glass here to help mitigate any uh, any noise. This is a new technology they've been using. Um, well, they've they've had it in sort of like the A8, so more the luxury cars, but actually starting to introduce it in all the electric cars. It's just a nice feature to have. It's very cool. I can always already feel kind of the luxury and the smell too. Right? Oh yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, so this car actually has Google Earth as its uh, navigation system as well. So you can zoom out all the way quite far. Oh my god, look at that. It's all Google Earth. <laughs> so it actually works nicely. Did, so they, they did kind of a partnership with Google, yep. I guess. Huh? That's yep. super cool. You can have your dials larger if you prefer that. You just want a mini map. Or you can have your full screen. Wow. So the, with the green, I saw you could see the percentage of uh, the power you're using there? Yeah, so this is essentially your rev counter uh, yeah. without it having any revs. The bottom right corner will show, this will show how much battery life you have. So right now we're at 100% yeah. or maybe a hair under. Right now, if you were to actually start driving, it will show you at 100%. When you go into sport mode, there's a little extra bit called boost. Now, when you're driving, this is just gonna give you a little bit extra power, think of it like an electric NOS. Yeah. Uh, if you want to overtake someone, pop it down into sport, and then that will actually give you uh, a little bit extra power to overtake someone. Um, instead of having to wait for a gear change, of course, which this car doesn't have. Yeah, it's kind of a boost system. It's right? a boost, yeah. exactly. And then in the front here, going back, you can actually see your range. So if oh, you want a, K, yeah. a bigger version of this, this will be more accurate. Uh, so it's at 401 kilometers right now. Yeah. You can cycle down. All your general trip computer information is all going to show here. Just with these few buttons on the steering wheel, can all interact with this screen here. It's fantastic. That's crazy. Yeah, very nice function. And also, is this like wood or something? Or? It's actually a real open pore wood. Uh, so I mean, you, you can go. feel it like with with your finger. You're not going to get a splinter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, I can feel definitely I, I, I the was texture. Curious, no, yeah. you cannot get a splinter. Uh, I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yes, I mean, it, this is just a fantastic car. I mean, the, the level of fit and finish in this is just oh, it's by beautiful. far one of the greatest. It's, it's just like all of our other products is on par, if not sometimes better than the, the competition. Yeah. Um, but if you're comparing this to say the Mercedes EQC, which will come next year, uh, they delayed it by a year, yeah. uh, or you're looking at the Tesla Model X, which has been out for a little bit, uh, or the Jaguar I-Pace. Uh, those are just, the Jaguars are a little bit harder to find. We have a few of these in stock, different trim levels, colors, like we have some fun colors to play with as well. Um, it's the most normal, feeling and looking version of an electric car. If you've never driven one before and you're not sure as to what it's like, this is the easiest one to get into because it feels the most like a normal car. Beautiful. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, the level here, technology, quality, all you get the whole package. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I can feel the seat warming up already. Yeah, too. yeah. <laughs> yeah, seat heater, steering wheel heater. I mean, everything you can ask everything for. that you could think of, it has, and then stuff that you didn't think it could have, it has as well. Yeah, it's uh, it's nuts. I really like. I think the wood touch is just my yeah. favorite there. Yeah, you get massage seats as well in this. M mass <laughs> yeah, you get heated, <laughs> ventilated, <laughs> massage, anything you can really get some want. Of those. Again, oh. it's got everything that you could really want in a car, uh, and then some. But yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, Everyone's looking forward to see how it handles and drives and that's what you really want in a vehicle, right? So we're going to take uh, one of these on the road yeah. and uh, check it out. We'll be around Victoria, so yeah. let's take it for a test drive. We're good to go here, right, right now? Absolutely. Yeah, let's awesome. do it. So this is a bit... <laughs> this is a bit unusual. <laughs> Very quiet, of course, being electric, but... We got a nice heads up display. Later on in the video, I'm going to put uh, the GoPro with the head mount and uh, you guys are going to be able to see all the view from the driver perspective. We'll give it some juice to start. Give it some juice. Okay. <laughs> okay we'll take a left here. <laughs> yeah, for an SUV, this is... Oh, this is so fun. I just turned off uh, the heated seats because my bum's on fire already. <laughs> it works very well. But it's got nice heated seats, nice heated steering wheel. 
We've got the paddle shifts as well. Paddle shifters, because it's an electric car, there's no gear. Uh, what that's doing is it's going to allow you to change how much brake regeneration you want. So if you want it to just coast along, you can have it just coast along. Or yep. if you want it to do like a one pedal driving, you can basically just do one pedal driving. Another thing I wanted to mention was uh, I looked up uh, some stuff and uh, you can charge this car 80% of the battery in uh, half an hour. So yep, yep. That's 80 quite cool. for half an hour and then the other, uh, I believe 15 minutes for the extra 20%. Yeah, I so. think uh, that's one of the fastest uh, superchargers, yep. 150 kilowatt uh, battery there. Yep. There we go. Yeah, so this is a 95 kilowatt per hour battery, dual motor, similar to like the uh, Tesla X. However, you can actually get your car serviced here uh, locally uh, versus having them come to you. So there's no ferry delay. Uh, anytime you want to come in, you have a question or anything, you can always just come see us and uh, yeah, that's, answer any uh, question. That's quite a nice thing, you know, if you buy a car and you're living on Vancouver Island, obviously, that's a big consideration to make, you know, having to do that ferry or not every time, it's, um, I think it's a big deal. If you guys want more information on the dealership, I'm going to put the link of their website in the description so you guys can look it up and see all the info you, you need. It's got uh, like 360 degree cameras. It, you can see all around the vehicle, like in a almost a CGI perspective, like a computer uh, designed. So the cameras pick up all the stuff around it and the computer uh, reconstructs uh, the picture. And uh, obviously it has uh, uh, safety sensors so in case uh, something crosses or somebody breaks in front of you it's going to if you're not ready as instant the car is going to do it for Absolutely. you right? yep. yeah. so that's a very cool safety feature and uh, another thing it has uh, adaptive cruise control that I really enjoy I have cruise control in my Camaro but the adaptive one so it follows uh, what's happening in the front and you can set what's the distance that you want to keep from the car in front so you can be closer or uh, more distant uh, whatever you prefer and that's a very cool function Here we go. but so far it's quite nice like uh, for an SUV like you're getting some very nice specs uh, this one's almost like fully loaded it's crazy and I love that you have you can get the option with the massaging seats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> massaging seats are wonderful. You've tried them, have you? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it handles quite nicely as well. And uh, the suspension, you can change all the settings, I imagine? Uh, yeah, because it's on air, uh, depending on what mode you're in, so dynamics going to be a little bit lower than auto. Yeah. Uh, Off-road is going to be higher, of course. Yeah. Uh, and then I believe you can even um, choose how low you want to go. Well, as you guys can see, we just changed perspective and you guys get a good view of uh, my eyes right now. I don't know if you guys can see from the GoPro, but there's the heads-up display there. Very cool. I always like that feature. And uh, nice uh, HUD. As Adrian was saying earlier, we can change uh, everything from this button, this area here. And uh, we can switch through modes. As you can see now, we're in the GPS mode. We can get closer or further away. You can even press the uh, view button to the right of that. So there now we go. have a bigger view of that. But with this Google Maps option, I think it's super cool. Look at that. And in a second, I'm just back into it. Then you can see all date and time, got the radio, like everything. You can connect the phone uh, with Apple CarPlay, everything, right? The whole world. Absolutely, deal. yeah. So for example, I believe I have my phone set up so yeah. we can do uh, wireless Apple CarPlay. So I can yeah. see our home screen here. That's cool, sir. The system itself, right, there's no uh, haptic feedback, it's just tap and you select. Also, oh, we've got a nice Gallardo up there. <laughs> White Gallardo. Way up there somewhere. <laughs> But uh, also a function I liked that you mentioned was that you can turn this off completely as yeah. well. So just this button here, and, and that it. goes black. So, so this is both a really great way to clean off all the fingerprints, uh, and also you know at night maybe you don't want one 
to three screens. You can just have the upper one and the lower one that's so out of the way you don't even notice it. And you can see now with the screen of uh, how clean the design looks as well. And we managed to catch up with the Lambo. Yeah, that's great. Well, guys, there you have it, the all new full electric e-tron. I hope uh, you enjoyed the review, that was uh, quite fun. Uh, we got to take it for a spin and uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed it, you know. Very nice fit and finish, uh, excellent quality, good engineering behind a car like this. And uh, yeah, thanks again to Adrian, he went back inside. Uh, Thanks to him uh, for uh, his time and uh, I'll make sure to put uh, the links in the description to the dealership right there and uh, you guys can look it up and if you're interested in going electric uh, definitely think uh, seriously about uh, this model here because it's, it's, a, it's a good value for what you're paying for. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you in the next one, okay? Peace out.